Now, nothing tropical about today's weather. Hurricanes or temperatures. Our high today was only 47 degrees. This is our coldest day in almost 300 days. It's been since February since we've had a day this cold. And remember, our average high temperature on the first day of December is 58. And it'll be a while before we get back up to that. Right now, our temperatures are generally in the 40s, a lot colder than where we were yesterday. Remember, yesterday we were close to 70 degrees. We're anywhere from 15 to 18 to 19 degrees colder right now in Goldsboro than where we were yesterday at 5. And with light winds over the next couple of hours, it's still going to feel really cold as temperatures fall through the 30s. Then as skies clear out and winds calm down, that will allow some excellent cooling in the atmosphere and we'll drop all the way down to 28 degrees by tomorrow morning. So today we had kind of a tag team working on us. Low pressure, which is exiting up to the northeast, and the counterclockwise winds working together with high pressure coming in from the west with that clockwise rotation, all pulling in cold air from the northwest. That's why it was so cold today, and it was really dry. That's always important in an overnight temperature forecast. The water vapor satellites, which shows us the moisture content of the air, everywhere you see orange, that's dry air. Look at all the orange. So obviously no rain to talk about, but with really dry air, calm winds, and clear skies overnight, it's the perfect recipe for the coldest air of the season. Tied for the coldest air of the season, but these are the numbers you'll be dealing with tomorrow morning, upper 20s. And then from there, we warm up to 51 degrees with sunny skies, not as windy tomorrow. 56 on Thursday. Good rain chances return the second half of Friday with a high of 59. And we stay in the 50s this weekend with mostly dry weather. And as we look at your exclusive 10-day forecast, it doesn't warm up much next week. In fact, Tuesday, again, only in the 40s with most of next week in the 50s.